Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery doing another quick review on two really cool looking Kaisers that I've just done up. I'm very happy with both of these. Uh, they both turned out really nicely. Um, Kaiser uh, is doing a lot of collaborations with uh, Cuchiara. Um, and I tell you what, the quality in these knives is just phenomenal for the dollar amount uh, the cost to purchase these knives you can't go wrong um, both of these have ceramic detents as well as ceramic bearings and they are just buttery smooth when it comes to flipping um, so we'll start off real quick with the Hustler this is another one of them that uh, Cuchiara has done his skull pattern now what I've done is the base of this, and again, I apologize for the lighting, it just isn't catching the colors real well. You've got a nice blue with a lot of purple hue on the out, outline around the skull. Uh, the skull is more of a navy blue, and then you've got that nice bronze in the actual skull itself. So we got a little bit of fingerprint here and this side is that nice deep blue with the purple hue again unfortunately the video just does not like to pick up that purple hue I did do a nice bronze on the pocket clip um, like I said flipping action on this is crazy smooth um, it's a little bit different uh, blade shape than you've seen out of their collaboration it's got that nice swedge on the top. You've got the Kaiser logo, S35VN. That is the model number. And of course, up on the top, you've got the Cuchiara. Not sure if I'm saying that quite right, but uh, that is on there. They have stepped it up and done the uh, steel lock bar insert. You've got two screws on that one. This one's not too bad fingerprint wise. Sorry, my hands are little sweaty. I did the last video with gloves on, but uh, these two really don't require the gloves. Um, this one, you got to get in front of that flipper to make that sucker fire, but man, when it goes, it just goes. Um, centering is almost perfect on all of these Kaisers. They do a really good job with that, and we're about probably 40% on the lock up there so very very cool nice and smooth again there's a lot more purple hue than you're getting here um, due to the light just not picking up quite right with the camera um, I am using a brand new camera it was camcorder I was hoping it was gonna pick up those purple hues but it's not quite catching them um, this one is done in a nice the background is kind of a teal blue, it's that green blue. And then what I did was I did a little bit of a fade up. You've got a deeper purple going into different purples. You got a little blue in here um, going into a lighter purple, into a, a pink up into an orange color. Um, really made that uh, flame pop out nicely, stand out real nice. Very happy with the way this one looks. Sorry again, my hands are a little on the sweaty side. Uh, nice teal, teal. It's got a little bit more green than the video is showing, but good coloration. I did the pocket clip kind of a bronzy purple to go along with the flames on the other side. Again, those are the flames. I did kind of get a little bit of blue mixed in there just to kind of give it a little bit more texture you can kind of see the different looks to it if it doesn't sell well that way I'll, t I'll strip that and just redo it with the fade up in the colors but I kind of liked that blue myself gave it a little bit different little little more life just a little more texture to it nice purple action on this one is just crazy. Uh, this is the compadre with the flame carving on it. Um, the heavy blade just man as soon as that sucker lets go it just locks right into place. 
again you got your QCR on the top um, S35VN and this one says the Compadre on it. It's got that nice buoy style blade a lot of belly to the front of that fits really nicely in the hand it's a big knife though very big knife very nice very happy with the quality on this one um, lock up again you're right about 40 percent and again you are just about perfectly centered on that knife pocket clip stands out nicely with that uh, teal blue background real happy with the way that one turned out so I'll probably be getting a couple more of these in to play with some different colors on them. Well, um, both of these will be available in the next uh, probably week or so over at www.jdcutlery.com. So definitely uh, check them out over there. They'll also post it up on Instagram at jdcutlery. And uh, thank you again for tuning into the video, and I'll see you on the next one.